Good Friday morning, lads. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your KWHS News. Thanks for letting us join your classroom this morning for school announcements. But first, let's hear from Miss Betsy for today's lunch menu. Good morning and happy Friday. I'm looking forward to the weekend. I hope you are too. We're going to have some uh, baked chicken, the really good stuff. I know you like it, and mashed potatoes and gravy and some veggies. So come on down and have lunch. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, please remember to return your free and reduced lunch forms to Miss Be Betsy ASAP. The deadline is w next Wednesday, September 27th. If you need a form, please see Miss Betsy in the cafeteria or your advisory teacher. Also, please remember to add money to your account because you cannot charge your meals. Glads, if you wanted to donate your gently used or new items of clothing and blankets for the hurricane relief, there's still time. Bring your donations to the collection center in front of the main office. You can still make a difference. Jeremiah, have you gotten a chance to check out the new Facebook page for the yearbook? I have, and it's pretty cool that we can just message them with our photos so they can use them in the yearbook. That's right, Glads. All you have to do to submit your photos is like the yearbook page on Facebook. It's Byfield HS Yearbook. Then simply message them with your photos and the yearbook staff will do the rest. I'm excited to share my photos with them and maybe see them published in the yearbook in the spring. JJ, but that's not all the yearbook news. Glads, you can buy your yearbooks now for only $55 in the business office. Prices will go up soon. Also, seniors, listen up. The deadline for baby ads and quotes for the yearbook must be submitted to Ms. Kennedy on October 13th or October 20th. October 20th is the last day you can bring those in if you want them in the yearbook. Don't delay. Get those photos and quotes into the yearbook staff room or room 104 as soon as possible. Well, those deadlines are coming fast. Hey, Corinne, I know we're only sophomores, but have you started thinking about where you want to go to college? You're right, JJ. It's still a little early, but I'm paying attention to the schools who come to visit. Do you have the lineup so juniors and seniors know too? I certainly do. Students, most visits are during advisory in the Counseling Center, and you will need a pass to attend. Here's the lineup for those visits. College visits start back up on Tuesday, September 26th, with a visit from UCCS. October visits start on Tuesday the 3rd with California Baptist University. Then, on the 4th, Colorado Mesa will be here. Two schools scheduled visits on October 10th. Fort Hayes State University will be here during advisory, and Paul Mitchell, the school, will be here at lunch. On October 12th, Hastings College is scheduled to visit, and then CSU Pueblo comes in on October 17th. On Thursday, November 2nd, Luther College is scheduled for a visit, and Adam State plans to be here on Thursday, November 16th. Mark your calendars with these dates, and remember to swing by the Counseling Center to pick up your pass to attend. We have some great schools visiting us. Glad if you cannot make it to these visits, remember there is a college fair on Monday, September 25th, at at Coronado High School from 5.30 to 7.30. You can speak to over 150 college representatives that night. For more information, please go to this website to register. Now here's Ethan Simon with our Gladiator Sports Update. Good Friday morning, Glads. I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Hey, Glads. Boys basketball op open gyms are happening on Mondays and Wednesdays in Bowers Gym from 6 to 8 p.m. If you haven't made it to gym yet but are interested or need information, speak with Coach Munoz in room 207. One of the fastest seasons in high school sports is golf. Bar Glad golf team has managed a respectable showing this year. Congratulations to Justin Leach, Noah Thirsk, and Joey Straub for dropping their overall scores for this year. Best of luck to Joey Straub who is moving on to the 4A state golf tournament in Raccoon Creek, Littleton. In softball news, the Lady Glads are on the mound this afternoon at 4.30 at Holmes Middle School against the Coronado Cougars. These ladies are on a streak with some great pitching and super strong bats. Go check them out. Also on the road is the boys tennis team who are taking their rackets to tournament play at Fountain Fort Carson today and tomorrow. The boys have a strong team this year so if you can make it to watch them do it. You won't regret it. The soccer team took on the Elizabeth Cardinals on Thursday night and managed to squeak in a win on our home turf. They'll be back on the field next week in matches against Sierra on Tuesday and Woodland Park on Thursday. In volleyball 
volleyball news blew out was much more than the Trojans could handle. The Lady Glads added another win, bringing their season record to 8-3. and three. The Lady Glads would like to remind everyone their Dig Pink game is happening on October 3rd. The game is against Mesa Ridge. The Lady Glads would like to remind everyone to wear pink to raise awareness of and support for breast cancer research. The fastest Glads are on the road this weekend at Elmwood Golf Course for the Pueblo Central Invitational. If you can get out there to support them, they would appreciate it. And finally, Glads, the Friday Night Lights will be on at Gary Berry Stadium as our football team takes on the Palmer Terrors. The Glads are in Fuego and are looking to add another dub to their record. Can they do it? You'll have to go watch for them for yourself. The game starts at 7 p.m. Good luck to all our sports teams this weekend. That's it for our sports update. I'm Ethan Simon. Now back to you, Corinne and JJ. Thanks, Ethan. Attention juniors, if you're interested in taking the PSAT test on Wednesday, October 11th, during periods 1 through 4, you need to sign up and pay the fee no later than October 6th. The cost is $16, and Visa Beta and the Counseling Center will sign you up and collect your fee. The test is optional, but if you are interested in applying for the National Merit Scholar Scholarship, you must take this test. See the Counseling Center for website for more information. Juniors and seniors, keep this in mind. October 28th is the only date this year where WHS is a test site for the National ACT. The deadline to register is today, and the fee is $46. Go to act.org to register. The school code for WHS is 060299. See Mr. Thiel in the Counseling Center for more information. Hey, Glads, guess what? The chocolate is coming. The chocolate is coming. That's right. The NJROTC has begun selling the world's finest chocolate next week for only $1. See any NJROTC cadet for your hunka hunka chocolate goodness. Finally, here's your club and activities update for Friday. Student Union is open in the library every day from 3 to 4.15. You must have a sticker on your ID, like the one pictured, to stay and play or to work on homework. Remember, the Power Club meets today at lunch in room 130 with Miss Sardinia, and the Guitar Club meets in room 2 after school with Mr. White. If you want to store your guitar until the end of the day, see Mr. White. Glad we have a few housekeeping notes for you before we go. If you bought school pictures, please pick those up in the main office with Ms. Price. If you need to retake your photos or are absent, picture retakes are on Friday, September 29th from 10 a.m. until noon, and they will be set up in the small gym. Glads, if you still need school supplies or locker organizers, please see Ms. Chandler in room 211. Also, if you lost or misplaced any personal items at school, check for them in the principal's office. They hold on to items for two to four weeks. Sorry, teachers, we checked, and they did not have anyone's sanity there. Well, that's all for us today. Have a great Friday. I'm Karen McAfee. And I'm Jeremiah Jones. Have a great weekend.